Foggiest idea how to run things. You're all right, mate. Quite right, mate. Look at him, for instance. There's brains for you. <laughs> Birds of a feather. <laughs> now then, slip along there, Bolton. Aye, aye, sir. Who give me a bid? Ten bucks. Ten? Ten? Oh, Twelve? Yeah. Two to butler here. Got that, Fred? Yes, sir. Wait with him. That's it. Shop then. Yes, Dad. Tap off it. Mark in the inspectors. Start a bill. Yes, the doings, Dad. Hell, six bob that one. Oh, look. Isn't he lovely? Hell, six bob that one. Come off, you perks, for God's sake. Nice basket of mixed here. Oh, they are, Dad. Mum says the customers have been complaining we've been giving them tiddlers. Have they? Like their blinking sauce. Tiddlers. Mother makes it. And she'd like to make him, you mean. Also, gone. Yeah, thank you. That's the stuff, that's the stuff. Ta-dee, da-da-dee. I'll be able to meet you. Right. Blue skate, please, Mrs. Bolton. Blue skate it is, Johnny. And Mum says, wrap me up in a good love story. Love story with skate? What next? <laughs> you want to get ever the best fish? Anyway, let's see what we've got here. Ah, sex starvation from health and strength. Now, what more does she want, eh? <laughs> There's a nice piece for you, Brookings. That's right, Johnny. That's yep. right. Ta-da. Hello. There's a good boy. Hello, Johnny. Hello, yourself. You don't you play for dinner, Fred? All right, Ma. I'm only going to... Oh, I know uh, what you're only going to do. You and your blessed motorbike. <laughs> Old junk. It's been a good old pal to us anyway. Yes, I know. But I wish I had a proper outfit. I'd show the dirt track crowd what I can do. Ma or no ma. It's a pity she's so much against it. But I think I understand. Wish I did, Maudie. It's so risky. And you know what mothers are. Sultan, have you heard? Well, what is it this time, Mrs. Wigglesworth? They're shooting in the market. Shooting? Shooting who? That's what they call taking pictures. You ought to see him, Mrs. Bolton. And he's an Italian film director, or whatever he's called. Well? He's jumping about like a flea on a gridiron. Quanto mai son venuto in questo paese a produrre della cinematografia? Oh, what a country! Here I make a picture of your fish market, and you have no lobster foot. I told Jim about it yesterday, sir. Oh, you English always have the answer pat, like that. I see to it myself. Wilson, my act, quick. Dio mio, per carita, ah, per pacco! Excuse me, find the fish! Rot! Where is he? Here you are, sir. No, 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 no! It is not the lobster that I want, but his pot! Bring me his pot! Show the beaver! The lobster! The lobster! The lobster! The lobster! Pictures. I hope my pearl doesn't hear about this. She's got films on the brain already. Lying in bed all day gazing at Harold Hogarth. What? Not him in a bedroom? No, his face fatted. Stuck all over the wall. Oh, Harold. 
At last I shall see you in the flesh. I must take you away from here. It isn't right. It isn't fair. Your charm is lost in a place like this. Don't you see? You don't belong here. You're wasting your life. Yes, yes, but what can I do? I'll show you what to do. Darling. Oh, go on, kiss her. Go on. Kiss her. You see, they laugh, they laugh. Why do they laugh? Because you make the love and you have no fashion. <laughs> I'll tell you what's wrong with him. They don't know how to run things. It is no good. I ask for love, I don't get love. I ask for a kiss, I don't get a kiss. Why don't I get a kiss? Where's Wilson? Yes, sir. Don't go away. I want you to give a nice kiss. Oh, yeah. So, come on, come on, show me. No, no, no. Now you give me an office, a desk, and a pair of spats, and I'd show them. That's right, mate. Now then, slip along there, Bolton. Come on. All right, sir. The Ola Maladica, what have we now? A thunderstorm? Quick, sound. Sound. Sound, you hear me? His master's voice. And now we take the scene in the fish market. Bring the other microphone stand. Make it snappy. Ah, oh, he gives me a pain in the neck. Cut him off. Oh, much longer, do Let's go. Sound truck. That's what there is. That's right, sort of horse truck. Horse truck be put. Sand truck. What puts the talk into talkies? Oh! Hey, leave that where it is. It's Big Bertha he wants. Come and give us a hand. That microphone's already connected off for the next team. Come on. Bubble box of tricks, ain't it? Quite simple when you know how. Blimey. You know everything. Well, I've read about most things. A lot of good reading rep round fish. <laughs> Here, let's have a deco. Here you are. Film. What, that is? What did I tell you? Quite simple. Yeah. All you got to do, twiddle a few knobs. I want a nice bit of attic. Attic it is. How are the children? Oh, not so bad, you know. Captain Little Johnny, he's always ailing. Oh, you want to give him more vitamins? Well, what's that? Stuff what's in attic. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Though faint is cruel, it seems, all of our schemes in vain. Castles we built in Spain, only to fall. Though bad luck take what it may, stealing away the rest, we'll have the thing that's best of all. While there are stars above, the hearts will thrill. The same old words of love will whisper still While there's a rose left to bloom in June Two stars to meet neath the same old moon While there are dreams to dream why While there's a sun to gleam, the clouds will break. Why should we care what tomorrow brings? 
while there are stars above, there still be love. Can't you see you don't belong here? That you're wasting your life? Yes, yes, but what can I do? I'll show you what to do. Darling. Hmm. Well, I don't think much of this stuff you shot yesterday, Baldy. I know, I know. It is like the louse. But wait, we have now the big scene. Oh, appassionato. Mm, that's good news. Let's have it. Right, sir. Let it go. Now, you see, they make the love so soft and low. Oh, Italiano. Scene 56, take three. I'll give you the world. There's only one thing I want. Darling, what is it? I want a nice bit of it. I ask to make love and they talk of fish. What's the matter there? We seem to have got the extra sound. Doesn't fit the picture. That's what's in attic. I got it off, sir. Yes, cut her up. It's waste of time. No, oh, wait a minute. This is worth the same old words of love. We'll whisper still while there's a rose left to bloom in June. Two lips to meet. The same old moon. Well, I don't know how it happened, but it's good. Good! <laughs> she make a song like the bird in the tree. Tweet, tweet, yes, tweet, yes. Tweet. Well, we must find her. She's great. Yes, but how do we find this angel? Mm. Here's an idea, Chief. Great publicity. Offer a reward for finding the singer. Make a record of the song. Broadcast it from Radio Paris. Allo, allo. Ici Radio Paris. Le numéro suivant est un item de surprise que vous allez entendre dans leur film fan qui vous est offert par la Société des films Phoenix de Londres. Une cantatrice inconnue dont on cherche l'identité mystérieuse. Hello, British listeners. You're listening to the film fans are, which is sent to you from Radio Paris with the compliments of the Phoenix Studios. They're now going to broadcast a surprise item of unusual interest. The Phoenix Studios have accidentally recorded a song. We shall now give you this song, and if any of you think you know the singer, and will reveal her identity to the Phoenix Studios, you will receive a reward of ten pounds. Here is the song. Did you hear that? Blimey! It's more! It's us! There now! I left my husband's boots in the oven to dry. I nearly forgot all of their food. <laughs> Where did you get on the wireless? I don't know. Well, tell me last day. Yeah, where are you going? get the ten pounds reward. <laughs> Hello. Oh, 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 I want range double O three two five. 
Yes, thank you, Mr. Bolton. Here, give me something, please. Go on, I'll have yours. Oh, that's fine. Good. Grind over, Riley. Mrs. Bolton, uh, have you got the address? Good. Phoenix Studios. Yes, yes. Mrs. Bolton. Yes, I know. Phoenix Studios. I know Mrs. Bolton. Ah, the, the singer, the singer with the angel voice. We find, we find. Her name is Miss Mrs. Bolton. Oh, but yes, now I must see her at once, quick, tomorrow. Then you see, I make of her the shining star. I'm sorry, Mr. Giddy but I don't hold with pictures. You, you don't want to make money? More money in one small week than you make here in five years? We're doing very nicely, thank you. Good day. Oh, oh, what a woman, what a woman. The very spirit of this great country, uh, Britannia. <laughs> oh, but tell me, oh, how can I get her in my picture? You leave it to me, old cock. I know how to run things. Yeah, oh. Good old oh, boy. 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 Yeah, I'll get out of I'm glad you are so clever. You see with me the eye to the eye. Thank you. You, uh, you make her sign the contract. Yes, no? Oh, for Cochrane. Huh. Anything for me in this? On the business end? Yes, no? Oh, of course. It can be arranged. Anything can be arranged. Uh, here, how you like a, a nice big office? And uh, pretty girls, eh? <laughs> okay, baldy boy. <laughs> oh, for a good boy. Thanks, old cock. Come, we go. <laughs> so long, baldy old boy. So long, good day. I got an office now. And a secretary. That's what I got. What are you going to do with her? That's my business. Blimey, you ain't half got a great future before you now, mate. Here you are. On the earth. Come on, 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 come Well then? What's happened, Dad? Come on, cop it up. Oh, I'm always saying that. Oh, you would be. So are you, you know you are yourself. Says you. Well, it took some getting, but I got it. How, How much, much, Dad? Um, oh, uh, a few hundred a week. Blimey. Cool. Yeah, not bad for the beginning. I can have a real bike now. Dirt track model. Yes, and we can move to a real fast neighbourhood. Park Lane, eh, Dad? Next door to Harold Hogarth, I'll bet. Oh, you such a dog. Yeah. And I'll be able to show them studio people how to run things. Have you all finished? Hey? No, we've only just begun. Oh. Well, perhaps you'll let me get a word in. Oh, what's up, Miss? You all seem to take it for granted that I'm going to sign this blooming form. Well, of well, course, course you, you are. are. Well, yes. Am I? Well, think what it'll mean for... Well, for the kids. Kids. Look, it's all a chance to do something. Instead of mucking about with fish? Fish? What's the matter with fish? Well, fish is all right in this place, but... Oh, shut up. Well, you don't expect your whole blinking life with an addict, do you? You give me the sick. <laughs> that old soap smoking again, Mrs. Bolton. Oh, just have a sock in it for now. Well, I'll see if I can find one. The bottom drawer in the bedroom. Oh, yes. Of course. Oh, socks and stones. Oh, Mum, why can't we bulge out a bit? Oh, come on, Bess. Have a knot. Yes, come on, Ma. 
Anybody think we're coming to a fortune? We oh, yeah. have. All right. Have it your own way. Good old Ma. Oh, what they? Good old Bess. I knew you'd stick by the old firm. You're all balmy. So am I. All right, have it your own way and see where it lands us. Well, I know where it's going to land me. Well, my dear, are you satisfied with your part in the picture? Satisfied? <laughs> They've cut half of it. Have they? Mm. Oh, too bad. I shall have to speak to the director about it. As if speaking about it will make any difference. Ah, oh. and that depends who speaks. Dio mio per carista. Hello, hello, yes, what is it, eh? Who is that? Oh, is that you, Baldy, old boy? This is Bert speaking. Fair? Yeah. Oh, Bolton. Oh, the man of the fish and the chip. Oh, cretino. Salami. Imbit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's very comical. <laughs> well, that'll be all right then, will it, Baldy boy? Oh, go to well. Righto, boy. That's all right, my dear. Oh, you are a duck, Bert. <laughs> well, you ain't so bad yourself, love. Hello, hello, there we go again. That'll be Geneva calling, I expect. Hello? Yes? This is Mr. Bolton of the Phoenix Studio speaking. Ah, is that you, Bert? How are you, me old beauty? Oh, oh is that you, Harry? How are you, cop? Now listen, it's about this horse. He's an absolute gift at 50 quid. I had four ponies about him once and he skated it. Straight up. Stand on me. Yes, and when he's seen it run, he'll jump on you. No, kid. <laughs> All right. I'll see you about that this evening. I can't talk about it now. I've, um... I've a bit of business on him. Yeah. Very tasty. <laughs> bit of all right, eh? If that bit of all, please, don't get your money back. Inside a month, you can tread on my face. Might improve it. <laughs> Give it a name. I'll have a brandy. Guinness. 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 Guinness for the old blinking lot. Well, I was beginning back to the studio. My old girl's first rehearsal. <coughs> Can I get a look after her? So long, Bert. Don't forget to throw your weight about. You bet. They don't know how to run things at the studio. How's things going? They're not going, they're going. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's not the way to talk to me. Don't lose yourself. Yeah, well, you better be careful, my man. Here, yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Where's Mrs. Bolton? Over there, sir. Rehearsing with the director. Oh, shut up. I can't help your troubles. Well, how are you getting on, my dear? That's just it. I'm getting on while you're getting on. Oh, no, 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 Bert. No, Bert. Be a good boy and leave us. We make the rehearsal. Right, old baldy boy. And now, my pet, you sell flowers in the playground of the world. Piccadilly. Dio Santo. What have we? A group of elephants? Ah, oh, Stop! Stop! It is terrible. You are meant to be slashed. 
Pretty angel, pretty, put me a show. Thank you. Oh, 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 very funny, eh? Very funny. I make you laugh. Well, oh, you make me cry. Oh, we go. Thank you. Oh, that's very good. Ah, very good. Oh, where is my star? Oh, Lily, if I'd only known. Oh, I'll show you. You have lost your daughter, Lily, in Piccadilly. She has what you call a take the wrong journey. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, you plead for uh, to Eros, the god of love. With all your heart, make it come from here. Help! Who is that? Help! Disgusting. Imbecile! Uh, come, uh, we try again. I'm sorry to be so much trouble, I'm sure. Trouble, trouble. What is trouble? I live with her. And I shan't be any good, you know. Oh, but yes, you make the star. Come, do the position. We make the rehearsal. Silence! We soon silence you. Silence. Drop Wicky Powell. Drop Wicky Powell. Hey, didn't you hear my men? Silence. Caviar all terrine, or sumo, or grink, sol von fam, or omelette, tassi, champignon, chateaubriand, pomme frite, carreau. Why don't you say carrots? Canaton roti, salad d'oran, bomb glacé, cheese, fruit, coffee. Sounds okay to me, Mr. Brook. <laughs> Sounds like indigestion to me. <laughs> Let's give the kids a surprise. Take a bit of surprise then. <laughs> Let's have one of our real homely meals. Some fish and chips, eh? Right oh, no. not a bad idea. Yeah. It's been a stiff climb, but I'm not too proud to eat a little homely food on occasions. Allow me, sir. Now, don't keep Mr. Pelt with him, lights. Westerbrook, tell him to get uh, half a dozen plates, some potatoes, he'll cook to wash them, and, I, and I'll do the rest. Very good, man. I say, you know, you've hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. Hello. It'll be the studio, I expect, for you. Well, of all the blooming things. <laughs> Pity about them if they expect me down there tonight. Hello? Huh? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Giddybordy, but I'm not having my photo took, uh, taken anymore today. Ah, oh, thank you. <clears throat> they put that in his close-up and fade out. <laughs> Just like old times. Bring in the fish when he comes up. <laughs> See who it is, Bert, will you? Hello? Is that you, Dad? Oh. Oh, you? Yes? Oh, well, it's just to say I can't get down for dinner. No. Now, Gwen's terribly ill and I've got to look after her. See? Goodbye. Darling, for once you are right, I am ill. I've seen red five times running and the answer was black. Could you be a darling and do something about it? My dear, would that be enough? Oh, my dear, you are a dear. Oh, don't mention. Studio again? No. Pearl. Not coming home for supper. 
Oh, such a nice bit of fish, too. Yeah, it ain't off. Yeah, looking after his own girlfriend, what's ill? Oh, well, I suppose he can't be helped. Bring them chips. Bone. Hello. Thank you, Ma. I shan't be home till late. No, sorry, Ma. I must stay. They've got their eye on me for the novices race. No, I'll be all right. Cheerio, Ma. Don't like it. Now, Fred can't come. And look at all this fish. Never mind. All the more for us. Phone again. Will you answer it? You get heart disease, won't you? Running about so much. God, blind old Riley. Hello. Oh, it's you, Eddie. Oh, I don't see how I can. Oh, come on, the old college chum. Archie's throwing a party. <laughs> We're all here. In confidence, you know. <laughs> You're a good judge of figures, aren't you? Well, come and look them over. Confidence, eh? What's it? Five percent differential slipping. Consoles falling. Can't do without me, I suppose. No, I thought not. But hope I'll be along right away. Dear, dear, dear. Ain't that just my luck? Just that I was going to have a nice quiet evening at home, Mark. Oh, what's that? Consoles have fallen. Going to pick them up again, I suppose. Anyway, you can't wear specs in evening dress. Who says that I can't? You have to pick yourself up with a porky rabbit to go to a conference. So long, old girl. Lummy, what's come over you? Just a spasm. girl gets into his flat while he's out. And when he comes in, there. My dear! What happened? Oh, my dear! Can't you guess? My dear, I can. Full house. What again? Call it in decent. Oh, call to the bar, eh? Bert, you have to lend me some more money. Pardon, my dear. I've never seen anything like this. Can't put a foot wrong. Could you take him anywhere? Talk about luck. Same luck, my boy. It's judgment. Is it all yours? Yeah. Put the old peas in honey in the sky, rugged. Of course they've seen all your pictures. Really? Yes, but they've always wondered how you spend your very own private life. Really? How do you spend your time when you're not filming? Oh, a spot of golf. Oh, golf, I love golf. But I can never get the balls to go through the uh, hoop. I suppose you have lots of girls then? No, only Tilda. Tilda? Yes, she goes everywhere with me. Oh. You see, she happens to be my dog. Oh, lucky dog. And, um, I suppose you take her out every night about, um, about ten? No, nine as a rule. 
Now, there's some friends of mine over there. Will you excuse me? Oh, that's quite all right, Mr. Ogar. Uh, <laughs> Here, I know a better one than that. Here. She was only a Joe Cobb's daughter. It's got whiskers on it. Well, oh, how about it? How about it? No more poker for me. I'm broke. So am I. Me too. Well, if you haven't got any money, how about a game of strip? What strip? Strip poker. You play for your clothes instead of money. Oh. <laughs> what, cash down? That's the idea. That'll suit me. Come on, my girl. Want anything? Mrs. Bolton, where's I live? Whatever are you doing here? Oh, I just had to come. Have a look round, you know. How things going? That old stove's still slow. I must have it too. I never see that many times of myself these days. But I thought you could do anything you like. Mm. Well, pictures aren't all they cracked up to be, I can tell you. Can't call you soldier around. Or your family either, for that matter. But I thought the family was doing wonderful. Yes, well, I don't like the habits they're getting into. Take it out of that. <laughs> now then, Dot, hand over that other, um... Here you are. Promotion. <laughs> that makes me a corporal. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're coming on, you look like finishing up a blinking general. I don't know what'll happen if my picture's a flop. Flop? Your picture can't be a flop. Oh, can't it? You don't know how I feel sometimes. Flat. Just like a bottle of stout that's been poured out all night. You ain't weakening, are you? You mustn't do that. Think what you're doing for your family and all. Yes, I'm just beginning to think. Is that right? You're singing in it. Good. What about the song, Miss? One of your old funny ones. <laughs> Our friends again, anyway. Come on. Come on, boys, it's a chance to do something big. Play for royalty this time. Oh, a real band, boys. Doing fine, eh? <laughs> well, come on, it's start. Off we go, boys. Come on, off we go. Ebenezer Brown, up in Camden Town, stands outside his fish shop with a frown. All the passers by keep on asking why. He replies, There's one thing gets me down, and that is how does a fresh fish wish? If a fish hasn't got a wishbone, when it's lying there in the dish, longing to wish, who what a position? Now, what does a fresh fish do when he's filled with a big ambition? Stick like there and eat with unfulfilled desire. Kippers have no wishbone, so can't get what they require. So please, will you tell me this? How else does a fresh fish wish? Oh, Professor Binks, digging near the Sphinx, found some writing from the days of yore. He said, this is fine, fame will soon be mine. But when he translated it, he saw this question. How does a fresh fish wish? If a fish hasn't got a wishbone When it's lying there in the dish Longing to wish, oh, what a position Now, what does a fresh fish do When he's filled with a big ambition? Mr. Trout is walking out with Herring's daughter, Rose Though he wants to marry her, poor fish, he can't propose oh. <laughs> How long does a fish most depressed. Though he wants to go to bed, how can he get undressed? I'm so tired, I must get home now. Of course she's tired. Why don't you leave 
I've had a hard day, day, you know what I mean, boys. Just well, keep ta-da, on. Ta-da. Just keep on keeping on, my dear. That's all any of us can do. Look how you cheered us all up tonight. Mm, I never looked at it like that before. You're right. I will keep on keeping on. That's better. <laughs> I hope your husband is doing nicely. Bert? Ho oh, ho, you want to see him now. If this goes on much longer, I shall have to become a blinking Zulu. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what I'll do, Bert. I'll cut you for your spats. No blinking fear. Whatever happens, you don't get them. What a more, Ellis. Oh, it's nothing, sir. This won't keep me out of the big race, will it? That depends on the doctor. Is that better? You've been asking for this, you know, sir. Get the hell out of here, Westerbrook. Fred, what a shame. What? It will put you out of the big race. Will it? You see. The doctor said he wouldn't stop me. Look out, Ma. What's all this? Oh, Mrs. Bolton, I... Uh, Maud's uh, just looking after me, Ma. Yes, so I see. I've, uh, I've got a bit of a cold. Lord have to help you to sneeze. Lord, leave this to me. Now look here, Fred. It's no good your trying to kid me. Oh, I wasn't. Mother killed yourself. And it's goodbye to this dirt track for you. Oh, Ma, what about the big race? Race? What you want, rest. I'm going to get that application. You're making your name. Why shouldn't I make mine? I haven't made mine yet. <laughs> And then Premier's getting me all of a dude, ah. You'll be all right, old girl. They're giving us a private box. Swank. What do you mean, swank? Is it honour of the Bolton? Oh, and Fred in bed and all. Pearl's head's so bad she can't come to. Better there without Pearl. Oh, it all seems to be a mess up there. Well, come along, Marlene Gittrich. Funny. Just off, Pearl. Now you'll stay there, won't you, dear? And be in bed by the time we get back. All right, Mum. Yeah, well, there's a good girl. So sit down, my ducks. Sit down. Right, now, pretty sure you're all right. Mrs. Wigglesworth will be here any minute now. Mrs. Wigglesworth coming? Yes, to keep you company. Oh. I know how you feel about missing that lady. Look here, Mum. I... What is it? Oh, nothing. Good luck for the picture, Mum. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Oh, I'll need it. Oh, it's a regular hospital in there now. Pearl in bed with an headache and Fred with his bad knee. You look after him, dear, won't you? Ah, take care of him, Mrs. Bowman. Hold on, miss. No, all
Come in. Well, Fred, can I get you anything? Uh, yes, uh, some gasters, please. We're out of them. Oh, all right, I'll run and get you some. You, you needn't run. Uh, no hurry. All uh, right. <laughs> Don't look at old girl. Good lemme, I can make a meal off you. <laughs> Dear old Bert. <laughs> Dear old yourself. <laughs> Here, I know where to put you right. A drop of the old mother's comfort. Oh, not half. Christmas, will you? Of course, do. <laughs> Come this way. Ah, good evening, Mr. Broken. We're all so glad to see you. Oh, everybody's most kind, I'm oh, sure. No. And great reception. Oh, not too bad. Uh, you know our manager, Mr. Williams. Oh, well, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, thank you, darling, so much. How sweet of you, dear. Hold dear. on, please. Come along, Miss Bolton. We must be going in now. Keep a stiff upper lip, like me. Who the devil wants to look like you? Playground where hearts are gay. 
beware of the other there spreading his wings of love. For he's the god of love. On the way from Mayfair to Leicester Square, there's the thrill of love in the air. And if you lose your heart playing the same old game, pick it in the playground, you're to brave. Cure me, who can cure me? Seems like a mad refrain. Echoing through my brain, time and time again. You're insisting, I'm resisting. Each time I hear you call, I simply have to fall. You've got a smell in crawling. I didn't ring. I was just going out. <laughs> oh, I say, you need gold. Look, Bill, this is the last number. the sea. 
smile I greet each day, what do I care? Fate will be kind, just laugh when things go wrong. Love you will find, for life is like a song. I shall be. My star is in the sky. Let the world go drifting by. What do I My wife, well, be that as it may, nevertheless. <laughs> Go away, don't be rude. I should like to say... Sir, sir, where's madam? Didn't I tell you not to be rude? Yes, yes but sir, it's about Master Fred. He's gone to the dirt track with that knee. Well, he couldn't go without it, could he? We must find madam. Now, on, it's been a Come stern on, struggle that I, I should love. Well, I'll tell you more about it later. <laughs> Give me my maiden to me. Yeah, I, I, I. Yeah, Have you seen Mrs. Bolton? Uh, she's just gone, sir. Where? Uh, the address I gave the driver was, let me see, 24 Mowbray Mansions. <laughs> taxi, uh, taxi! Taxi! I saw his name on the door. Harold Ogar. What do you think of that? I put a name on her door. Hmm. And a few knockers. Yeah, 
What's up tonight, Tilda? Found a mouse? all this means. It's only me. Oh, you wild creature. Oh, I say. I've come for my daughter. Is Mr. Hogarth acquainted with your daughter, madam? Yes, and he'll soon be acquainted with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, real passionate boy. What are you doing with my daughter? What's she doing with me? I've been trying to avoid her for weeks. I believe you, you blithering little idiot. What the devil are you doing? Oh, Mum, 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 Gentlemen, Mum, gentlemen, you can't come in. Westerbrook, what the devil do you want? It's Mr. Fred. He's gone to the race with that knee of his. Oh, has he? Oh, we'll soon settle that. Ah, my faith! At last I found you! Oh, your premiere make a wow so big, and you not dare to see your triumph. Rats! I've had business to do attend to. Come on, let me get out of here. But Mrs. Bolton, the chief has sent me to bring you back to sign the biggest contract that contract ever... Contract pictures, they'll all have to wait. Come on, Pearl. Oh, you'll never look me in the face again. Come on, the lot of you. Now for Fred. Rule Britannia! Well, we've got to get her somehow. Come on. Hey, let's go, Fred. Are you sure you can ride with that knee, Fred? Anyway, it's not going to keep me out of this race any more than Ma. Try her again, Tug. Fred's right not going to ride in that race. You can take my word for it. No. And I haven't finished with you yet, either. Film star. That sex appeal, he can keep it. Quite well, right. Let him have it. That car in front. You keep with him. Yes? Good. The matter all right, Tug? Okay, fine. Thanks. You ought to give him a second. How's the name, Jim? Not a dashy gas. Oh, we'll push him up for second place. We'll, we'll see about that. that. Thanks, Thanks, John. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Event number three. Scatchy. The riders are. Oh, what a shame! Fred's been drawn on the outside. Already, boys. Let me get through. Let me get through. Who's this woman? Yeah, just a minute. You don't push like that. Right away. We are now starting off on the preliminary event.
Fred! Fred! Oh, that means he's crushed! Fred! You led him into this! Well, he's won, hasn't he? Yes, but look what you've done, you've killed him! Not quite. Honor of the Bolton! Just my luck. Oh, Bert, have you broken your neck? I'm all right. Well, serve you right then. Right? Oh, Bert, the finest act I ever see. You make one big riot. Right? I've had all the riot I want. Come on, get out of here. I can have a nice long rest. Rest? What have you and the old Pinky family been having for the last three months? Well, I've been working the gizzard out of myself. If you want rest, you get back to your blooming bottles. Oh, Bess. And enough of this old Bess business. I'm the worm that turned. And when I turn, I turn. Well, I don't want you to You're going to work, my boy. Work as you've never worked before in your blooming life. Work? I'd sooner go back to Billingsgate. <laughs> work? This ain't work, it's slavery. Nose to the grass till the old blinking day. Oh, stop crazy for God's sake. Well, I mean to say... It's just like old times, isn't it, hey? <laughs> that edge off. Well, I must say you ain't lost an neck, old girl. Yeah, what's the matter with you? Another spasm? <laughs> oh, John, oh, John. Well, do a little. Do a little bit. Off we go. <coughs> Let's have that camera over here, Now <coughs> the then. Where's them eyebrows? Here you are, Chief. Oh. How's it? OK, Chief. What do you mean, okay? We don't want none of that vulgar studio slang. Wilson! Wilson, where is my script? Here, sir, and your hat, sir. You bring my hat to the studio for what? Mammoth, cram, office! Oh, fair! Oh, Baldy! Oh! Okay! Oh, wonderful! But come, we go! For what we need! Nothing up to the grass here! Ah, my bed! Now we have the big number. You see, we have built your own home for the picture. And you must be yourself. Myself. The very spirit of this so great country. Britannia. Ah, you know, you know. I Come, we go. Camera. Come on the cross, come on, girl. The old firm. Go on, take this. Go on. Start the camera. Okay. You've seen 99.5. Ah. While there's a rose left to bloom in June Two lips to meet need the same old moon While there are dreams to dream Why should we wake 
why there's a sun to gleam The clouds will break Why should we care what tomorrow brings While there are stars above